Hi all, thanks for joining. Uh, this is Mike from Dynamic Point. Today we're going to be looking at using Azure AI document intelligence for OCR as part of an AP invoice automation process flow. So a quick introduction to AP automation. Um, in general, there's three major steps to AP automation. The first is this step right here, which is invoice receipt. So this is getting invoice from a vendor. And there's multiple ways you could do this, email, request, portal, et cetera. But ultimately, we just need to get the invoice from the vendor. The second step is the processing of these invoices. And this could entail all kinds of things, PO matching, templates, um, use of OCR for data extraction, um, workflow for review and approval, et cetera. And then the last step that's um, generally part of every AP automation flow is getting that transaction now that is approved and um, been processed into your accounting or into your ERP system for payment. Today, we are really just looking at one specific component of this, and it is the email receipt of an invoice. And we're going to receive this into this document library, this invoice library, in the use of Azure um, AI document intelligence to extract some key data from that invoice. So we're really only looking like a, a very specific part of this overall AP automation process. So here's what we want to do. We want to get an invoice um, to a shared AP inbox using Outlook. We want to use Azure um, AI to extract, extrapolate data fields from that using OCR. And we want to save that data in SharePoint. And all of this is going to be done using a Power Automate workflow. So it's going to be the engine for business automation that's going to tie all of this together for us. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and look at this in more detail. So let's start first with Outlook. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Outlook is going to receive the email including the invoice from our vendor to a shared inbox. In order to demonstrate this, I've created a rule here in Outlook. And you don't have to do this for your scenario, um, but I have a shared inbox that receives other things in addition to AP invoices. So I've created an alias for this account, and then I've set up a condition here that anything is received to OCR at dynamicpoint.com. I want to go ahead and move it to a specific folder. And this allows me to use a central um, AP email for multiple things. So I could receive statements and invoices and whatever else. But this is just particularly looking for anything that is received to a specific alias, namely OCR at dynamicpoint.com. Next, let's look at Document Intelligence Studio uh, in Azure. Um, are using Azure AI. And we're going to be using a specific um, pre-built model here for invoices. And this is easy to demonstrate. You could go ahead and just browse for a file. And I'll go ahead and pick an invoice. And then I'll run analysis on this. And using Azure AI, you're going to see when this is complete, all of the data that it's extrapolated from this invoice, as well as highlighted here on the document itself. So as you can see, it's getting all kinds of information, the header, the line items, um, the totals, taxes, etc. It's capturing all of it. The other thing to note from this is this is using um, this template that is not vendor specific or format specific. So given that it's not dependent on any particular vendor template, I could use this same pre-built model for virtually any invoice format because it is using AI to determine the fields for data extraction and not dependent on the specific area of the invoice where they're located, something that's known as zonal OCR. So you can see it's not really dependent at all on the location because of my two invoices, I have very different formats and it's still able to extract all that information correctly. So next, let's look at the SharePoint document library that I have configured. And this is a simple document library where I've added various columns for the information that I want to extrapolate for all my invoices. So in addition to housing the metadata that comes from OCR, this is also going to store the actual invoice that's been submitted by the vendor 
in a central repository so everyone from accounts payable could see it and then it's not lost in some email account. Okay, so those are all the building blocks. Now to tie all of this together, I've created a Power Automate workflow. And it's a pretty simple workflow, so let's walk through each step. I have when a new email arrives as being the trigger. And you can see I'm just looking at that specific folder, the Azure OCR folder that I've created. I'm going to get this attachment. I'm going to submit it to Azure AI to my specific invoice pre-built model. And I'm going to pass it the file that was received, of course, in this email. After this completes and OCR um, is done and Azure has given me all of the metadata back from the invoice, I'm going to go ahead and create this um, in SharePoint and save that file to a library. I'm going to give it the name as well as the content of the invoice. And then the last step is I'm going to update that newly created file with all of the contents of OCR. Um, actually, I've included not only OCR fields, but email fields here as well. I've captured who it's from. I've captured the vendor name from OCR, the subject of the email, the number, the invoice amount, the data, the PO number, etc. So as you, you know, saw, this is pretty endless. There are so many fields that I could add. Um, over 107 here, you can see the OCR gives me. I've just captured the main ones that I'm interested in for sake of demonstration. So with no further ado, let's uh, let's give this a shot. So I'm going to bring over my email. And as you can see here, it's going to OCR at dynamicpoint.com. And I've included a sample invoice. As you can see here, so there's my invoice. And let's go ahead and send this. Okay, I can see that it's running. Okay, so when I opened this up, you saw it was still running, and now it's completed successfully. And you can see each step has a green check mark, meaning that it is completed successfully. So I was able to extrapolate the data from the invoice um, using Azure um, AI. I was able to create the file in SharePoint, as well as update the file properties. If we go over to SharePoint now and do a quick refresh, we should see that invoice created as well as all the metadata that was extrapolated using the document intelligence model added as columns. So the good news is it all worked and that's exciting. Let's go ahead and close this up. Thank you um, so much for joining us. That was all we had to show you today. And if you need to contact us, here's um, an email at info at as well as our website. Thanks again.